Hi there! Welcome to a skincare routine video today, brought to you by no less than yours truly, who is totally not a skincare expert. So why watch this, I hear you ask? Well, folks, I really didn't spend much time taking care of my face for a very long time. And then, unfortunately, my skin got really dismal. Enlarging pores, sun freckles growing all over the place. My T-zone was essentially an oil patch on a highway. Wrinkles. Lots of them. At that point in time, instead of resigning myself to looking like a gnome for the rest of my life, I went out, did some online research, bought a bunch of affordable skincare, slapped it on, and et voila, two years later, here I am, and I think it's not bad, right? Right? And the best part was it didn't even cost very much. In fact, most of the things I purchased ended up costing individually like less than $20. So I thought that would be something very worthy to share with you today. If you're new here, my name is Jean. Hi, and this is the channel. Welcome. So for your easy reference, this is the complete list of all the products that I use in my daily skincare routine. This is specifically what I do every morning and every evening. In the morning, I wake up, I wash my face with warm water, no soap, and then the first thing I pad on is this Melano CC Vitamin C Serum. I really like it. I see that it visibly lightens my dark spots. So I let it sink in for 10-15 seconds, and then I follow it up with The Ordinaries Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% solution. Um, I use this to predominantly combat my pore enlargement, the oiliness in my T-zone, and uh, also to fade away acne blemishes because I do get adult acne, cystic acne, um, especially around my periods monthly. So this is great. Yeah, really like it. After that, I follow up with this La Roche-Posay's Tolerian Cream. Um, it's just a simple moisturizer and I like it because it's extremely non-greasy but still very very soothing. This one is on this last legs so you can see that I've actually cut the bottle in half so that I can get to the stuff down below that just doesn't squeeze out um, anymore. <laughs> and uh, after moisturizer as always, you cannot forget your sunblock and I really like this one too. Bioderma SPF 50 plus in a natural color tint. It looks really really natural and most days I use only this, I don't use foundation and uh, I think it looks good. No white cast. In the evenings, of course the first thing you do is uh, remove your makeup. I then cleanse my face and this is my absolute holy grail favorite skincare thingy cleanser. Cos RX um, Good Morning Gel Cleanser. It's low pH and it's extremely comfortable on your skin and friendly if you're acne prone because you know I think it combats the acne-ish side of things without actually drying out the skin. So I love this. I mean by virtue of its name it's probably intended for morning use but this suits me just nice in the evenings. I then uh, go to Innisfree um, Green Tea Seed Serum. It doesn't do very much other than soothe and moisturize but my face does tend to sensitivity. I now understand that. So um, I like to apply this because after applying this and letting it sink in for like 15 seconds, I then apply this. The ordinary 0.5% retinol in squalene to help plump out the skin, reduce the wrinkles, uh, generally, you know, anti-aging combat warrior, this is it. And then finally topping it all up with this. It's the Advanced Snail 96 uh, Mucin Power Essence. So that's it. That's my skincare routine in a nutshell. To understand why I call these products miracle workers, here is some background. In my late 20s, I fell in love with water sports and I became a surf instructor. So sitting around checking out the latest anti-aging skincare products and spending hours patting stuff onto my face wasn't exactly my idea of fun back then. In fact, I kind of went and did exactly the opposite. Like only washing my entire body and my face with a single bar of Dove soap for the six months that I was living in Sri Lanka. P.S. Not something that I would recommend. I ended up with my whole face being clogged full of whiteheads, so it was terrible. Back then, I was really dismissive of the whole skincare thing, chalking it up to mostly commercial marketing. 
my mom has been on my case to put more stuff consistently on my face for the last decade. I was just kind of like waving her off with my paw. But when two years ago, even my dad started peering hard into my face and then asking, are you taking care of your skin? Then I knew something was really wrong. So two years ago, I jumped online and checked out Reddit and YouTube. That's when I finally discovered that all these boys and girls on Reddit had started their like anti-aging skincare regime in like their mid-twenties. Boy was I late to the party. So I too started on my skincare routine to battle my spreading sun freckles, age spots, wrinkles, lines, and oily t-zone, and growing pores. So in slightly under two years, I managed to transform my skin from spotty potato to potato with many less spots. And the best part was, I feel like these products are really really good value for money. So overall, it took at least a few months for me to see improvement on my face, but I thought that, you know, um, the skincare products really helped all my issues a lot. In my opinion anyway, you might be sitting in front of your screen laughing at my nerve to make a skincare video. <laughs> and I didn't just pull all of these products and this skincare routine out of thin air. Mainly, I did my research via YouTube and Reddit, bought the products I selected via those platforms, and built my routine slowly via product trial and error. And I cannot recommend enough that you do the same. There were products that my skin absolutely loved, and then there were also products that my face completely hated. It's very, very individual. Do you remember that everyone's skin is different? Boy, I really said that like a beauty know-it-all. Everyone's skin is different. <laughs> but yeah, okay. <laughs> everyone's skin really is different. And uh, while my skincare routine is testament to the efficacy of the products that I mentioned, um, you really should hop online, understand your own skin, and then build your own specific routine to address your issues so you actually get the most bang out of your buck. For me, the online platform Reddit is an awesome, awesome, invaluable resource that I can't live without these days. Kudos to all of these Redditors all over the globe who are so actively sharing about their skincare issues and sharing reviews and feedback on the products they have tried so as to benefit all of us who come after them. Also, a big shout out to the Budget Dermatologist on YouTube, whose uh, affordable drugstore skincare recommendations have really helped. I totally um, would recommend that you check her out online, especially if you live in Europe and you're watching this, because uh, it's really hard to get Asian products here for skincare. I do prefer Asian skincare products for my Asian skin in general, but uh, with the help of the Budget Dermatologist, I've actually discovered a number of European skincare alternatives that I'm really happy with. So that's it for today and my little skincare chat. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found the content helpful, um, please help us grow the channel by clicking on the like button and subscribing. Thank you so much and see you next video. Bye!